Good evening, everybody. Thank you for coming to the press conference. We are apologizing for being late a little bit because of the traffic. Mr. Vilica and I suggest we carry on with the questions, please. Can you tell us what's the health of all the players? And prep, in, pre, we are going to repeat. Uh -huh. the, the situation is very good with the players. We have another training before the match. The players who had problems before before this match, uh, we hope they're all recovered and we will have successful squad, healthy squad. Can we have another question, please? Can you tell us, please, coach, we were at press conference of uh, with Guardiola, the, he he told us praises about the uh, Dynamo Dynamo squad and the way you play. I am glad to hear all the praises, especially from the coach like that. And and we don't doubt that they are going to be prepared for any option that we throw at them. It's one of the best clubs in the world, and it's going to be very difficult to surprise them. But many times I said, tactic is one thing, but other things are more important uh, to, to have a successful result. A lot of aggression, a lot of running and courage. We have to play with a big heart and we can achieve the result against the opponent like this. The chances are small. We want to give everything. We, we want to make a successful result. You often said, yeah. You, you, often, you often mention the positive result uh, these days. Is, is the positive result for you to, to leave everything on the, on the pitch and then whatever result comes with it? We want to achieve the maximum, that is three points, regardless of any, any, any situation I, I mentioned a few times, no matter what, uh, what stadium or against any rival, my team is always playing for a win. I know it's very difficult and there, there is very few clubs who man, managed to do that in Manchester City, very, not, not many clubs did that. We have our chances and many things have to click to achieve a result like that, but we will try our best. Um, no, on, on your side is Rahim Sterling, he is one of the top five players in the world. What do you, would you expect against him? Of course, this is the, the one of the best, one, one of the top players. But as a, a squad, they are also a top team. So there are a few players that are Sticking out of, the, of that team, of course, Sterling is one of them. But we will play as a team, we will try to help each other. And hopefully, in that way, we are going to get a positive result. And we, we have a good game. And, and to stay positive, as we were up to this point, as our boss said, we don't have huge chances, but we are not going to surrender. We will give everything on the on the pitch with all of our hearts, and we hope to get a good result and go back home with a good score. And uh, uh, however, City is strong. There is not De Bruyne in in the squad. Uh, he he played very well until now. What do you think with got without him? Is that plus for Dynamo without Manchester City playing without such player? 
it's, in question is one of the best uh, players in the world as well and all the other players are also top players whoever of these players I mentioned are in the guard. These, these are all top players that I've mentioned and they obviously have a lot of alternatives that they can alternatives for anybody in the squad that's missing just as good and many journalists told us that there is no Laporta Fernandinho is not a proper proper midfielder do you think is there any other opportunities to create more chances there is no there is no stones and the other uh, midfielder at the moment Otomendi and Fernandinho are playing but they they are playing on a very good level they have a young Spanish uh, defender whoever whoever comes on the pitch on the city side they they have such quality that they can compete with anybody in the Champions League and uh, the, it's not nothing none, none of these circumstances would help us much uh, unless we don't have our aggression and uh, we would play with a big heart and leave everything on the pitch. That's the only way we can achieve anything or even win. And then on 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 the you had eleven nil goal difference so far in these few previous matches. Is there anything else you can work on that that met, that will give you more chances? It, it was a very good week in two matches we, we did score 11 goals we also created just as many chances but Manchester City did the same in their own matches and the in question are two teams that play uh, on very high level at the moment although the level that Manchester City plays on is very much higher than ours but we can improve and if we have if we if we do score from 30 or 40 percent of our chances that we usually create but if we achieve something like 70 to 80 percent then we can hope for something huge you, you played very well uh, against Atalanta do you think uh, that there will be similar situation against Manchester City I'm not sure whether that will be this, the same but we will do our best to do the same like against Atalanta they are uh, a team that has more quality but we will see what the, the match brings at, uh, tomorrow and where the circumstances will go and, and We will try and um, we will try and attack their goal. Uh, Neda, how do you think to calm the players down so they don't uh, succumb to the atmosphere that's created here? Well, um, we're we're used to playing in a good atmosphere, not as good as it's created on this stadium, but. But all the players have to think about is to give give best what, whatever. There is no uh, the result is not our imperative. It is very important that they enjoy the game uh, and they don't think about the result just to the quality of their game. This is just a football game, and I expect from my players to really enjoy the match tomorrow we will of course try to win but what however hard that sounds and seems we will try our best there are players who who play yeah the old players who played in the match that was nil nil against manchester city and we are very proud to be in the champions league 
and uh, especially for the chance to play against teams like uh, teams of Manchester City, Shakhtar or Atalanta. But from the first day we want to enjoy every game and use these six games to present ourselves to the best light. We, we will go for a win in every match and that is our mentality, that is how we play. It doesn't matter where we play, against who. We are very happy to be back here after 20 years in Manchester and we will try and get the good result against this Manchester present. Ovo ćemo na englesko. Manchester City je favorit da, da osvoji Ligu šampiona. Da li mislite da i vi da su oni favoriti da osvoje ovo, ovo prvenstvo? I think they are. They are big favorites. Although European, European football has a lot of teams that can achieve the same. City is trying that for two years with Guardiola and they're always very close. I hope they will achieve that this year. You need a bit of luck on all these knockout phases. Last time they were not very lucky against Tottenham with the fifth goal that they needed for for um, uh, progressing further, but uh, Bar prevented them in that. Um, whether they will win the Champions League this year it depends on many things of course from this place we can all wish them best of luck anybody else? no thank you very much